by the end of this video, you're gonna have no excuse for why you don't have over a thousand followers at the end of this week. And even if you already have over a thousand followers, I'm guaranteeing you, you're gonna get to some point in your TikTok career where you're gonna be in a slump and it's gonna be hard to get followers and you're gonna wish that you would have watched this whole entire video or you're gonna be happy that you did watch the whole entire video because I'm telling you, this is gonna teach you how you could jumpstart your TikTok following again. But before I get into how I'm gonna show you guys how you could gain a thousand followers in the next seven days on TikTok, guaranteed, I need you guys to smash that subscribe button. I have so many videos about the TikTok algorithm, TikTok hashtags, best time to post on TikTok, how to go viral, and so many other videos that I really think you guys would have a lot of interest in after you watch this one. In addition, I need you guys to do me a huge favor and go follow these two creators that are up on the screen right now. For somebody that goes and follows them and tags me in their last post, I'm gonna give you a shout out in my next YouTube video and on the next podcast. The first creator is at Sweet Life of PJ, and the second creator creator is at geo underscore Ramirez one. I'm going to link out to both of them in the description as well. Getting to 1k followers on TikTok in seven days or less actually comes down to a really simple formula. And if you execute on it to a T, I guarantee you, you're going to get way more followers than that. Step number one, you need to be uploading at least five to six pieces of content every single day. No excuses. And no, this should not take you a very long period of time. That being said though, once you start gaining over a hundred followers a day, I would up this to eight to 10 pieces of content every single day. Now, before you start telling me all your excuses, excuses as to why you can't do this, let me show you how you can do it. First, two to three posts a day can just be simple reposts, something that worked in the past, repost it or totally recreate it. Secondly, you can use stitches, duets, green screen video posts, and things like that to make content way easier to post. You don't need every single post to be this huge production that's gonna take you an hour. I don't care what niche you're in. On top of that, every single piece of content that you're uploading in this beginning phase should be modeled off for something that you've already seen be successful for somebody else. So this doesn't mean that it should take you hours to create every video or hours to come up with a video concept. You should strictly go off what is already trending on TikTok. If you don't know what's trending, it's what's on the Discover page, what you see on your For You page over and over again. And then third, what the top posts are in your niche's hashtags. And I hate to break it to you, but if your goal is to just get followers on TikTok, then you need to be focused on those things that I just mentioned. Because if you're doing anything other than that and focusing on your creativity, you're gonna miss the mark and you're gonna miss the greatest opportunity ever to grow a following on social media, which is right now on TikTok. Growing on TikTok is a science and an art form. If you're struggling to gain followers right now, you need to be more focused on the science, which is what I'm going over in this video, not how original your content is. And to reemphasize something that I talk about in all my videos where I mention duets or stitches and things like that, you should only be duetting videos or making stitches of videos that have gone viral before because this is gonna be two things. First, TikTok already knows what kind of audience this should be pushed out to, so that's a good thing. Secondly, you're just gonna be able to borrow on somebody else's clout because they're gonna watch it if they see somebody famous or somebody that's already gone viral in a video. Additional bonus tip, you guys should be following 30 to 40 people every single day. Ideally, it should be people that are liking or commenting on your posts because those are gonna become your super fans and they're gonna help you grow way quicker than you could have ever imagined. It works like this. Timmy likes your video. You then follow Timmy. Timmy then follows you back so you just gained a follower and they're like, holy sh Rob liked my stuff, Rob followed me back. This is amazing, I'm gonna like all of Rob's stuff and I'm gonna watch all of his videos every single time I see him on the For You page. What you don't realize is this is how you build that foundation and start to build loyal fans that are gonna engage with every single piece of content that you put out and it's gonna boost your standing in the TikTok algorithm. And no, it should not take you more than five minutes a day to do this. Step number two, I need you guys to be posting during three key times only. From 10.50 a.m. to 1 p.m., from three to 5 p.m., and then from 7.50 p.m. to 9.50 p.m., those are for your times. That means if you're in Nigeria or you're in Nebraska, it's your local time. You need to be posting it during your local time because at the end of the day, TikTok is an incredibly geo-focused app and it's going to push out your content to people around you first. And those are the best times to post on TikTok because those are when people are spending the most time on TikTok in general. And the next couple steps are incredibly important, but to be totally honest, I think step number five is the most important. So make sure you stick around for it. And that being said, if you guys don't implement all of these steps together, that's going to be the reason that you fail to grow a following. Step number three, is that every single piece of content needs to be at least 13 seconds long. Ideally, they should be from 15 to 22 seconds long. This is what the TikTok algorithm favors. In addition to that, you need to have over 85% watch time in order for things to really get pushed on the For You page. So please, please, please make sure you're focused on the amount of watch time that you're getting and the length of your post. I've seen this happen over and over again. A post that's 15 seconds long and a post that's 22 seconds long, they both have 85% watch time. The post that's 22 seconds long is gonna get way more views on it and way more of an opportunity for you to get a lot of followers. Because trust me, if you get both of those things right, you're going to get way more TikTok followers than you could have ever imagined. I cannot tell you how many times I've interviewed somebody on the podcast or for this channel and they've told me that same exact thing like, Rob, I cannot believe I listened to your advice and this took off quicker than I could have ever imagined. But 
If you fail to do those two things, you're just gonna be another miserable person in my comment section or my DMs telling me that TikTok hates you and that TikTok's not fair or that you're shadow banned. None of those things are true. It's just that you're not executing on the things that I just mentioned. Step number four is using the right hashtags and the right description, but I do not want you guys to overthink this. Like I said earlier in the video, I have a full video dedicated to the best TikTok hashtag strategies to use. There's three of them, but for the sake of this video, I only want you to use one of them, which is gonna be two trending hashtags from the Discover page and two niche specific hashtags that are just whatever that post is about. The top two hashtags with the most views in that niche. If it's about comedy, hashtag comedy and hashtag something else. Just type hashtag comedy into the app, find the two with the most views and add those onto your post. As far as your description goes, you should be using this to do two things. First, to put a keyword that's related to whatever you're posting about so TikTok can help use that to tag your post and push it to the right audience. Secondly, it's got to be something that either aids as a hook. You can use strategic capitalized words here or it needs to be something that's going to get people to watch till the end. For example, in parentheses, watch this until the end for a surprise. That being said, if your video fails to hook somebody in in the first three seconds, they're just gonna swipe away, they're not gonna watch a video, you're gonna get no watch time, and you're gonna in turn get no followers, so please, make sure you focus on the hook of your video, and just, again, if you're copying trending content or modeling yourself after trending content, this should be easy, and this should be no great task for you. Now, for the most important factor when it comes to growing a thousand followers, or way more, in seven days or less, and that's gonna be incentivizing engagement. You need to get people to click the plus sign at some point in your video. There's two key ways to do this. And the reason that I'm telling you to do this is because I found this two times more effective than actually getting people to just follow you. And it's 10 times more effective than not asking them to follow you at all. If you guys have noticed, almost every single YouTuber, you watch their content, they always say, hey, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You need to do the same exact thing on TikTok, except you need to get people to click the plus sign, which is going to get them to follow you. You can do this in two key ways. First, doing it at the end of the video, ideally in the last three seconds. So somebody is happy, they watch your content. Yeah, I'll give them a plus sign and then that in turn makes them follow you or what you need to do is put it as a feedback loop in your piece of content. I have a great video about this, about TikTok follower hacks and it goes over why you guys should be doing this and several ways to do it. Nevertheless, you guys need to have it as a feedback loop. For example, if you like apples, click the plus sign or obviously that's just an example but you need to do it whatever that post is related to and this works great if you already have them invested in your content and you should be because the post is trending and it had a good hook and it's an interesting post and this will result in you growing from normal posts the same way that you would typically from a viral post and that's how you're gonna get over a thousand followers in less than seven days No excuses. I strongly suggest you guys check out these two videos or these two videos I don't know where they are Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want guaranteed growth on TikTok I need you to get into my mentorship program or my accelerator program both of them guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok Or you get your money back. No questions asked if you want to learn more about that Just go to the link in the description